British lords have long worn wigs as a sign of intelligence, but could artificial hair really make us smarter? Sony thinks so. The Japanese technology company is seeking a U.S. patent for smart wigs that can give directions, control PowerPoint slides, and take pictures. I am joined now by our Bloomberg News Managing Editor, Tom Giles. So when I saw this story, I thought, they couldn't possibly really mean wigs. Maybe it's something that goes on your head or something. Do they really mean hair? I'm talking yak hair. <laughs> You can use feathers just in time for Thanksgiving. You can uh, human hair. The patent covers horse hair. You name it. I mean, there's a, there's a lot of you know there's a lot of different ways you can play this thing. So yes, Sony is definitely taking a look at it by applying for a patent. So is this completely ridiculous, or is this just a natural progression of? Wearable computing. I mean, that's just the thing. You, you know, we, we laughed when we saw people walking around with Google glasses at the, at the start. Actually, some people still do. Yeah. But, you know, people are wearing watches. They're wearing, you know, they, it's everywhere now. And it's going to only become more and more common. So, yes, it's a little funny and odd to think about now. But I think down the road, for those people who, you know, want to wear a wig, uh -huh. it's, it's going to weave itself into a lot of different areas of, of what we wear, what we put on our bodies that we might not even be thinking about right now. And that's what Sony's trying to do here. Now, I know there are patents for lots of things that never come to market. I mean, what do we know about Sony's actual plans here? Right. Just because they're applying for a patent doesn't mean that it's going to come to market. And it doesn't mean it's going to happen anytime soon. I mean, this could be years and years off. But what I think the important thing to keep in mind here is that wearable computing is here. It's here to stay. Sony's really trying to be proactive here. They've talked about smartphones, you know, which is not an area where they've done terribly well. Exactly. Um, they've talked about smartphones peaking in 2015. Now, that may be a little soon in my view and in the views of the people we've talked to, but still, at some point, you know, you're going to get saturation. And so Sony's got to think, what's the next big thing? Well, what's, what's, what is the next big thing after smartphones? You know, watches aren't incredibly widespread yet. You know, well, we keep waiting for that. just starting. We keep waiting for that Apple TV, right? right. I mean, there's definitely, there's, there's, there are things coming down the pike. And I do think wearable technology, you know, Juniper is talking Talking about a 19 billion dollar market in a few years down the road, that may be a little, you know, that may be a bit big. But nevertheless, I mean, there is going to be a lot of interest in it, a lot of demand for it. We talk about we talk about this stuff all the time, and now we're wearing it more and more often. And it's going to end up in some strange places like wigs. <laughs> Does Sony have any wearable products? On the market well, they, already? They do have a watch right now, so okay. they definitely made a push into this market. And you're seeing it more and more. Google, Apple, uh, you know, I think we're going to see a lot of the big tech giants get more and more aggressive. Samsung is in there. 